FX Nation, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to go over some of the trades uh, that we had this morning uh, during London. And uh, we pretty much ended up trading all the pound pairs for the most part. I think there was uh, one or two that we did not trade, but most of them were all the trades were all with the pound. So pound was pretty much doing the exact same thing on pretty much almost every chart. So um, so let's just get right into it and I will break these down for you. So let's just start off with the uh, pound USD. Um, so a couple things I want to mention. So here is this yellow line. Here's the beginning of the week, right? Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday. And then this is Wednesday, which was, uh, today. All right. And then this is starting out another day. All right. So one, here's one thing I want you to guys to, to see. And this is essentially what happened also with USD CAD, right? Just another example of, of how market makers work the week, okay? So they start the week, they set the initial trend, right? Which is down. And you can see all of your normal, you know, indicators are pointing down, right? So that gets uh, traders to go short, basically, right? They come back up. And then what do they do for the third day? They, the second day is they retest it, go back down again, right? So they create basically a new low for the week, right? Which is down here, okay? And so what happens next is, so you go one, two days down, and then now they need to reclaim some of this money, right? And so all roads lead back to Mayo, at least. So what happens? You get a double bottom here. You see that? One, two, and rise. Okay. Now this is going to be consolidating. And then we expect another rise. Right? Follow me so far? So on this morning for London being that we saw this right two days of starting the week initial drop another drop so that's two days of drop and then of course um they did not they did not penetrate the low right because they've already created a previous low right here so they didn't create a new low right so if you look at this on let's say like a one hour time frame you know, you can see essentially you could see what they're creating, right? Is a big W on a on just on a one hour time frame. You follow me so far? So knowing that you already know what the next move is gonna be, right? So you know it's gonna be a buy. The question is where are you gonna get in it? You know? Are they going to are they going to uh, extend this further down to get more people to sell so then they can come right back up and rise? So the question is not about you know what are, what are they doing? We know what they're going to do, which is go long. Question is when do you want to get in right? So the further down that you can get in here allows you to have what? It allows you to have a smaller stop loss, right? But huge reward, you know? So if so if you think about it, you're looking at, you know, depending on where you go in at, I mean, you're looking at a very, very good, like a ridiculously good risk to reward ratio. You know, you're looking at a six to one risk to reward ratio, which is crazy. You know, so, but I mean, you'll see when, once we go down to the other pound pairs, I mean, they all pretty much did the exact same thing, uh, a variation of it at least. Okay. So anyway, so we traded, uh, so we bought uh, pound USD, we bought pound CAD and, and all the other ones. So uh, essentially that's what happened uh, during London. So. Asian session here, very tight Asian session. I love it when we have a very tight Asian, Asian session because we're going to get a bigger move uh, coming out of London or going into London. Um, and that's exactly what we got. 
okay so this right here uh, would have been a, a type 2 pattern um, and again the important thing is the pattern right so and we realize what we're what the banks are doing right two days of drop hang here hang here rise so if we go to like pound CAD what do you see same thing right start of the week drop come back up drop create a low of the week Okay, low of the week there, right? On uh, Tuesday, and then come back, we test it, and get people again to sell. As soon as you get enough contracts, boom, you're out, right? So each of these trades essentially um, got us well over, you know, 100 pips. This was 170 pips, pound USD um, was another 160 pips. So, I mean, you can see, look, they're all exactly the same. Another 130. Same thing. Another 130. I mean, I can't make this shit up, you know? Literally, I can't make this up. This is like what it is. You see this? One day, two days, rise. And I mean, and if you look at them on... If you look at them on on the daily, or on, I'm sorry, on the on the one hour, you know, on some of them you can see it, but um, but it's basically on some at least it was creating a bigger W. You see that? So so imagine you know being able to to take you know, one, uh, what, two, three, four. This is the only one that we didn't get into. And that's because the pattern wasn't, um, as far as the pattern is the same, right? But as far as what we're looking for, type one, type two, type three setup, um, this is the only one we didn't take, but I mean, at the same time, we had already like one, two, three, four, five trades open, you know, at once. So we rather take again, the, the, the trades that we, that we take are the ones that are clear and obvious, right. On what it's doing. So this one here was a type three setup because it came back down to the middle of the range and that's where it started, right. Middle of the range here. So that was, that was a uh, type three setup that we took there. This um, ended up being a type one setup. Uh, type two setup there. Type two setup and type two setup. Okay. So, but essentially you see like literally what, what happened on each of the same charts, same thing on all the pound pairs. Okay. Um, but yeah, so those were, those were the trades that we caught. Um, during London session, uh, pound USD, pound CAD, pound Swiss, pound Jappy, pound AUD. Okay, um, we could have you could have gone into pound NZD, but again, the pattern was not there as far as what we look for for our rules. Okay, and it doesn't matter if we know that it's going to go back up. We'd rather do the ones that we can see. We'd rather take the patterns that we can see. Okay. So that's exactly what we did. We only take patterns that we can see, clearly see. All right. You only take things that you can clearly see. I'm going to keep saying that until I freaking die. Patterns only that you can see. You know, patterns only that you can see. Patterns only that you can see. Okay, so that's it, guys. I mean, literally, it was that simple, but I wanted to make sure you understood how this cycle works um, during the week. And we're going to get into that very soon, actually, because we're almost um, to that part when, when I start teaching the market maker method, um, and I have the videos already. So 
Um, we're going to get there. There's a couple more videos uh, yet still to be released on, on the basics. And then we'll get to the market maker stuff. And don't worry, we will have like everything will be in, in detail so you guys will understand it. Guys, let me know what you think about the, the setups. Uh, comment below and let me know what you think. Um, if they're easy to follow, easy to read, can you clearly see them uh, and clearly understand uh, the, the setup and the concepts here? I appreciate your comments, guys. Um, one of you guys asked me, uh, I think it was Oscar, how to add indicators or how to add the EMA lines on MetaTrader 4. Um, I don't use MetaTrader 4. I use this. Um, which is trading view. So, or here, let me see if I can pull it up on uh, a MetaTrader 5. It should be the same thing. So if you, if you guys pull this up here on indicators and you go to trend and you should see moving average. If you double click that, It'll go ahead and bring you the settings for it. And then you can set the, the settings and the colors and all that stuff. And then just hit OK and it'll add it to your chart. Okay. But um, but we'll, we'll get into this stuff. Um, I'll make a separate video about this. So you don't have to worry about it. All right. All right, guys. So thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. Again, comment, like, and share the video, guys, if you think uh, I've added some value with this uh, with this video here tonight. Guys, thank you so much, and uh, have a good night. Guys, one last thing. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate the fact that you take the time to watch my videos. I really hope that I've added value in each of the videos that I make for you guys, and I hope that you're learning something. As always, guys, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please like and share the videos if you found value in them. And also, don't forget to visit our website at www.fxntrading.com. Once again, guys, thank you so much. I'm truly blessed.